Hello everybody, welcome back. Sims Life here with another tutorial. And in this video, I am going to show you how to uh, change Sims 4 objects into accessories for posing. Uh, to be able to follow along with this tutorial, you will need Sims 4 Studio, Blender, and a UV map, which I will link in the description uh, on how you can get it. Okay, so to start, we're gonna go into Sims 4 Studio. We're gonna go to Objects, Standalone, Recolor, and this will bring up all the objects in the game. I am going to show uh, debug items, which are the items that you normally don't get in game without the cheat. And I know pretty much which one I'm going to be using, so I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and type it in. It's the watering can, which is this one right here. I'm going to choose this, and then I'm going to hit next. And this here is the package file, so I'm just going to call this watering can um, accessory. Well, ACC for accessory. And then I'm going to go ahead and save that. And you want to go to texture because you want to export the texture. And I'm just going to call this WC for watering can. And I'm going to save it. And then we also need the mesh. Um, it should be standard, but still make sure that it's on LOD uh, zero high. And then export that. And this is our blend, our blend file. So I'm going to go ahead and call that WC also. Okay, so now we're done with the, the watering can, so we can close uh, Sims 4 Studio. And we're going to go ahead and open up a sim rig in Blender. And then we're going to go ahead and append the watering can. And then hit Object. And we're going we're gonna to import both Sims 4 Studio Mesh 0 and Sims 4 Studio Mesh 1. Um, I believe you're only going to need one, but I'm going to import them both anyways, just so you can see like what's what and what you will and, will and won't need. So here's the bone shape. That's that orange circle thing. We don't need that. That's this one right here. So we're just going to delete that one right away. Okay. So here's the watering can. Um, if you hit this eye, it's going to show you what what is what. So as you see, the Sims 4 Studio Mesh Zero is the white, which we don't need. So we're just going to go ahead and click on that and hit delete. And this rig here too, rig 001, you don't need that either. So we're going to click on that and delete it. So we only have, we only have mesh one and the rig. So for Sims 4 Studio mesh one, we're going to change the type, which you'll find right here, these three little dot things here. And it's under Sims 4 Studio CAS tools. You want to change the type from none to gm, which is g-e-o-m. And you want to change the cut to zero, 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 four zeros. Th this would be the same for any object that you want to convert to an accessory. Okay, so now that we have that done, we're just going to go ahead and lift up the watering can because I'm going to place it into his hand. Pretty much you go by where you think the sim might be holding it at. You want to make sure that it's in the hand. Okay, so just enough where you know the fingers are going to curl around the, the watering can. Okay, so now we have to decide what bone that we're going to attach it to. I'm going to choose this one right here. It's the right hand. It's the stigmata. Um, it's right above this finger here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to this bone here because we need to get the full name of this bone. It's very important. So we're going to highlight it. This is the easiest way that I found to do it. We're going to highlight it. Control C to copy it because we will need that. Go back down to, because we were on the rig. So now go back down to Sims 4 Studio Mesh 1 and go to this little triangle thing here. Click on that and go to edit mode and hit A to select the whole watering can. And where it says transform bone, uh, just delete that or whatever it says in here. Even if it doesn't say transform bone, whatever it says in here, just delete it. And then hit add. And where it says group, double click on that to highlight it and hit control V to paste in the bone name. Okay, so once you have that pasted in, go ahead and this is very important. Don't forget to hit this, but you want to hit assign because you want to make sure that you assign it to that bone. Um, so we're, we're not fully done yet. You can go back to object mode 
and go to this wrench. It's right next to uh, the triangle and where it says object in this little box here, you want to uh, choose rig and now it should be attached to the hand. Okay, but we're not fully done yet. This is where it can kind of get a little confusing. So just bear with me and try to follow along. Um, I'll try to, I'll try not to be too confusing. Okay. So what you want to do right here up at the top, cause you want to pull this to the side cause you're going to want the second screen over here. So and it doesn't matter what side you do this on. I'm just going to do it on this side cause they're, they're identical now. <laughs> So this little white box here, click that and go to UV image editor. Uh, make sure that you're on, since we're Studio Mesh 1, go to edit and then hit A to select it. And now it's going to show up right here. So hover your mouse over here and hit A over here. So that way you can select all these two. Now go to open because we're going to import our UV map because we have to make a new UV um, for the for the watering can. Okay, so we're gonna hit S because we, we're gonna have to scale this down. It's way too big. It's like the size of the whole thing. So we're gonna scale it down and you can pretty much choose where you wanna put it for an accessory. I'm gonna put it under ring. Um, you scale it, G will move it and S will scale it. So we have to scale it pretty small because we're going to put it right here. Let's see. Let's, let me hit G to move this up. Right here where it says index left ring. That's where we're putting it. So we have to make this small enough uh, to fit in that box. So I'm scrolling in with the mouse with the mouse scroll wheel. You can scroll in and out with that. And I'm moving it around by holding shift and the, the scroll wheel will move it around. So I'm gonna go ahead and scale this down a little bit more. Let me move it up there. Okay, we're going to scale it just a touch because it's almost there. Move it up. Okay. Okay, so once we got it into uh, the ring area, we're going to go down here to UVs, export UV layout. And I'm just going to call this WC. Uh, UV so that way I know because we're gonna we're, we will need this so I just put UV after it so I know that That's The one I need to import So we're gonna go to export UV and we also want to save this blend file. So we're gonna go to file And I'm gonna save that as WCACC So that way I know which blend file I'm gonna be uh, importing and so we'll save that Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make our new texture. So we're going to go to that, that watering can UV and we're going to open it in Photoshop. And there it is. It's very, very little. <laughs> and then we're going to go ahead and open up the texture that we exported earlier. It's this one right here, the watering can. And I'm going to go ahead and select all, control C to copy it. And I'm going to paste it right over here. So I'm just going to move it up. So I'm just using my alt and scroll button to enlarge it. So I can kind of see what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. And then we're going to hit control T for free transform. And we're going to start scaling it down. And we're going to put it right over the, the UV thing here. One thing you can do is, let's check that and 
you can put the layer underneath. You have to match it uh, with the texture. I don't want to scroll in too far because then it just, it just gets really hard to see. pretty good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hide the first layer because we only need the texture part. And I'm going to go to save as and I'm just going to go to make sure to save it as a PNG and I'm just going to save it over. Yeah, save it over the one that we that we had here. <laughs> okay so now we're going to go to Sims 4 Studio and we're going to go find a ring to attach it to. So I'm going to go to Create a sim standalone. And I'm going to go to part type. I'm going to go to accessories just so that they'll show up at the, at the top. And I'm going to choose index finger left. I'm going to choose the first one. Hit next. And I'm going to choose the watering can accessory. I'm going to override that. Um, instead of making a whole new package file. <laughs> yes. Okay. And I know we chose the right hand and I chose it's still gonna show up on the on the right side. So we're gonna go to meshes and we're gonna import the new watering can accessory. Now there's no texture yet, but that's okay because we're we're gonna fix that. We're gonna import we're gonna import the watering can underneath all the lads, one, zero through three. Okay, and now we're gonna go to texture and we're going to import that texture we just made right here. And there's the watering can. It's now an accessory. So now we can just go ahead and tag it male and female. So it can be used under both. Um, it's brown, so we'll save it as brown. <laughs> I'm just gonna check alien and mermaid. I, yeah, I guess. Select all the outfits. This allow for random, since it's an accessory. You don't want it to end up on random sims. Um, I'm going to go to the swatch for the thumbnail and check, you know, I'm going to get the color from there. <laughs> and then what we can do here is I'm going to just go ahead and just take a quick little screenshot of it. Just so I know. Right there. Okay. Now I'm just going to go ahead and import the screenshot I just took is the thumbnail, just so I know which one's which. Import. Okay, I did one for male and one for female, and I also forgot to tell you, sorry, <laughs> for shadow and specular, you're going to want to make those uh, blank. There we go. And then you can hit save. So I'll just throw this into my mods folder. And we'll go in game real quick to look at it. Okay, so once you're in game, you can just go to accessories. Um, to find it quicker, you can just go here and click on custom content. And here it is. I mean, it looks, I know it looks a little, it won't look like that once you get it into Blender. Um, it's just because our arms are not out. So, but it's now an accessory. So anyways, guys, that's it. You know, that's it for me for now. I hope this helps somebody. Um, if it did, don't forget to leave it a like and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye, guys.